name is James Bellissimo. I'm the town manager of the town of Berwick. I'm uh, just here for my monthly update with BCM. Thanks for having me. Uh, first piece of business, we have some wonderful career opportunities with the town of Berwick in multiple departments. Um, if you've been interested um, in, in joining a municipality, this would be a great opportunity. Um, it's not often we have such a diverse um, array of um, positions that are open. Um, these are great careers, um, so please reach out if you're interested. You can find the postings on the town website. There's a couple of different ways you can get there. If you go to business, employment opportunities is right there. Click that, and that will bring you to the job postings and the application and what you need to do to apply. You can also go to I want to find employment opportunities. Again, that's www.berwickmain.org. Um, I have an update on, on the edge. Just want to say congratulations to Bad Wolf Butcher and Deli, Mint Preventative Dental Spa, and Primal Fit for the successful opening at the edge. Um, it, it can't be overstated how important and uh, monumental it is to start having businesses on that site. And it really is just, just the beginning, but for those three to be the first really helps set the pace for what's to come. Also want to say congratulations to Corner Point Brewing for their major renovations and expansion. Uh, I believe they more than doubled their footprint. So to see uh, such economic activity in the downtown is really inspiring. Uh, net was up next for the edge. They're doing site work, as you can see outside. They're working on <clears throat> some major infrastructure, stormwater, and the next building they're working on is 8 Main Street, which will be at the corner of School Street and Main Street. As you can see, they're starting to work on um, getting ready for a foundation there. On October 4th, there will be a small business resource fair held at the auditorium, and that'll be from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, close to 20 business resources will be there, and this is for uh, any small business or entrepreneur. This is a great opportunity to get the tools and resources you need to match your needs. We also have Brad Curry at the town once a month. He's, he works for the Small Business Administration, and he's there for, again, for the same reason. So if, if you're looking for tips or tricks, or if you need resources or access to funding, or you need specific training, uh, they are a fantastic resource, uh, and they're held right here at the town hall. There is a joint project with our regional planning organization, uh, SMPDC and, and CACTS, and I can uh, probably provide it in text what, what those mean, and uh, DOT in the town of Berwick. And what we're doing is we're, we're studying Route 4 to improve the safety, and the ultimate goal is to reduce fatalities and serious injury on Route 4. And we're going to look at everything from uh, putting in vegetated um, medians or some way so people can't pass, turn lanes, signs. Uh, we've already put rumble strips and signs in, lights, whatever we have to do uh, because, unfortunately, we're, we just see fatalities far too often out there. And what's going to happen is with a study, we'll develop concepts, and then it goes on the spectrum from concepts to engineering to eventually fully engineered, and now we're seeking funding. And that will happen. Um, it is a process, but we're on track now to make significant and long-lasting changes to that corridor. Another project we got going on, it's the Community Resilience Partnership. There's been a big effort um, to put a focus on helping local communities and areas be resilient to extreme weather, flooding, sea level rise, public health impacts, and much more. Uh, one example is the stormwater work you're seeing downtown, and that will help us become more resilient to some of the flooding we've seen. And we're part of this project. We're part of a, a partnership with other communities, um, and SMPDC has, help, has been helping us with that, and we're going to be holding a forum in the winter, so we'll be on the lookout for a date for that. Um, just a quick update on our lift to provide uh, accessibility to the auditorium. 
We've looked at a vertical lift, which is a step down from an elevator. We thought that we'd be able to install a vertical lift and not have to pay, you know, the elevators very, very expensive and cost prohibitive. Now, the vertical lift was a little bit out of our price range, but we need to get access to the auditorium. So we pivoted back to a incline, incline wheelchair lift, which is similar to what we've had, but it'll be a brand new system. Uh, we anticipate some, some bugs. We know that that type of lift is prone to some issues, but with it being a brand new system, we anticipate less than what we've been dealing with, and we're going to keep on top of it to make sure that the lift is up and operational as much as possible, and especially during our big events. We want it open for the farmer's market, Legion events, big events, uh, votes, obviously. And last thing I have is Trunk or Treat. It's on for October 29th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. at Memorial Field. Uh, rec Department is collecting candy at the uh, Town Hall lobby, and you can see the buckets and where the bags of candy need, need to go. So again, uh, thank you for the time and, and the opportunity. You can reach me at townmanager at or 207-698-1101, extension 111. Thank you.